Hey, in this video we are going to go over how to do multiple file uploads using a file input and a submit button with JavaScript and Laravel. So just as an example of what we're going to be creating is if you click on this choose files to upload, you could select multiple files and then you could click on open and you click on submit and it will upload all of those files to your application. So by default, Laravel uses the storage folder and app folder as the default storage location. So as you can see, we don't have anything inside of that folder, but if we click on submit and we go back to that folder, you can see that we've uploaded all of those files to the application. So let's go ahead and go through on teaching you how to do multiple file uploads. Okay, so the first step, we'll just wanna create our new Laravel application. So let's go ahead and open up terminal and just say Laravel new, and I'm just gonna call this project multiple file upload. Okay, and after that's been created, then I can go ahead and cd you into that project. And I can run php artisan serve to start up a local host on localhost 8000. So if I go to that location, you can see that we have a blank Laravel 5 app in front of us. And next thing is let's open up this application in our favorite text editor. And since I know people are going to ask which theme I'm using for Sublime, I'm using the material theme. So you can just Google the material theme for Sublime and you'll be able to download this. So moving on, I'm going to go to the resources, views, welcome.blade.php. And this is the default view file that gets loaded by with Laravel. And we're just gonna go ahead and use it just to make things simple. And I'm gonna create a new form. And the action we will want this to post to is to the upload route, and we will give it an ID of upload. And then we also need to make sure that we have an ink type of multi-part slash form data. And this is just default if you ever want to upload any types of files. So then we will give it a input type of file and the name will be file as well. And since we want to be able to upload multiple files, we will give it an attribute of multiple. And then let's go ahead and create our submit button. Let's save that, refresh the page and nothing too impressive, but now you can click on choose files and you can choose multiple files. Then you can click open and click on submit, but we don't have the functionality to do that just yet. So let's go ahead and add some JavaScript at the bottom of our view. So we will say script, and then we need to get this form. So we'll save our form document.get element by ID, and that will be upload. And then we also need to create a new XML HTTP request to perform our AJAX functionality. And next we want to add an event listener, event listener for when the form gets submitted. So when that does get submitted, we want to capture that event and we want to say prevent default because we don't want the form to submit to the route. So we'll say prevent default because we want to perform the post route ourselves. So let's capture the form data. So form data, we'll say new form data type. So we basically just created a new form data type based on this form that has an ID of upload. But in our case, we selected the form from up here and we said get element by ID, which is upload. So let's go ahead and create a new request. Let's say open a post request and we want to send it to the upload route or the slash upload route. And then we'll say request dot send and we want to send it the form data so let's save that and then we also need to create our route so let's create our route inside of that app we can go to app http routes.php and we can add our route right in here so we'll say route post upload and we want this to post to the upload controller and an upload method and we haven't created that controller so let's go ahead and do that now. So PHP artisan make controller and that will be upload controller. So if we go back to our HTTP controllers, you can see that we have upload controller right here and we can create a new public function upload. 
And let's go ahead and just return, let's just do a print R. So print R and we want to say request all. So all the requests that we get to this route, we just wanna go ahead and print that out on the screen. So we need to make sure that we include this request is as a parameter. So let's save that. And inside of our welcome, inside of our view file, we're actually going to need to capture an event. We're, we're gonna need to add an event listener for once the Ajax request is completed. So we can just say request.add event listener. And once this Ajax post has been loaded, we just want to capture this in a function called transfer complete. So let's create this function, transfer complete. And the data that we need to get is actually stored inside of data dot current target dot response. So if we do a console log of this, console dot log, you can see that we'll have all of the files that are printed out. So what happens is the form gets submitted to this route, which then calls the upload controller and the upload method, and then we just print out the request. So let's save all of this and test it out. Let's go back here. Let's choose the files that we want. We will select all of these, click on open, and let's open up console so that we can see this. We'll click on submit, and you can see that we have all of these files here as a Symfony upload file. So that's great. All we have to do is run through each of these files and upload them to our application. Okay, so back to the upload controller. We are going to store these inside of a variable just called files, and we will get the request file, and the name of that is file because that's what we gave the name of the input, which is located right here. So let's go ahead and make sure that the files are not empty. So if not empty, files, now we can run through our for each loop. So we can say for each files as file. We want to put the file in the storage location. And the default storage location, like we said, for a Laravel app is inside of a storage app. So using uh, the storage class, we can just say storage put, and the first parameter is going to be the file name, and we'll say file get client original name. And the next one, we will just say file get contents, and we will pass it the file. So before we can use the storage class, we need to actually add it up here. So we just need to say use storage. So let's save that and let's go ahead and test out our application. So let's reload, choose the files that we want to upload, click on open, and click on submit. And we will go to our network. We will check on that and it looks like everything went through just fine. So let's go into our app. Let's open up the storage folder and the app folder. And sure enough, you can see that the files have been uploaded. So the final step is we are going to return a JSON response from the controller back to the JavaScript so we can tell that it has been successfully uploaded and then we can print a simple message. So back in the upload controller, we are just going to say return and we'll just say response JSON and we give it an array of success and we're just gonna say true. So by default, it's always just gonna return true, but you can run a condition to say if something happens, then you can return success is false, and then you can do a message based on that. So inside of our view here, we are going to store this response, and we want to do a json.parse, and then we will say if response.success, then we probably want to print out a message to the screen. So let's create a new div ID of message. And inside of this message div, let's say that we want to print out something like successfully uploaded files. Okay, and document.getElementById. That will be the message ID. 
and enter HTML. So let's save that. Go back here. We will want to delete all these files so we could re-upload them. And go back here. We will refresh. We will choose the files that we want to upload. Click on open and click on submit. And we get whoops method not allowed array post. And perhaps we had a JavaScript error here. So let's go ahead and open up console. And sure enough, we have unexpected identifier. So, okay. So we need to say response equals, and that would probably help. So let's say choose files. Let's try this again. Let's select all of these files, click on open and submit. And then sure enough, we get our message. We go back to the folder and the files have been successfully uploaded. So that is how you could add a simple multiple file upload to your Laravel applications. I hope this helps and uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video.